due to the conditions and obviously the COVID pandemic that we're looking at, we have a need to be able to respond to our officers that are manning these checkpoints if they experience any type of medical emergencies or something on those those lines as well. Uh, additionally, um, you know, we're, we're always here to serve medically to any type of civilian that may incur some type of injury that we might come across during the course of this, uh, this duty assignment that are strategically staged uh, on the inner, the inner security ring and then outside the security ring to where the majority of the checkpoints are at, um, to where our officers and the civilians are at, that in case something does happen, we can respond, um, we can do immediate uh, assessments and treatment and get them to the appropriate uh, long-term uh, health facilities in the, the D.C. area. Our operational medicine branch, our role and mission is primarily force protection. We have uh, two, two main concerns right now. Um, COVID is the primary one. Um, we want to pre prevent the spread of the pandemic amongst our officers. And also uh, due to the cold weather that you see is, is hypothermia. Um, we need to maintain the vigilance and the safety for our, our officers that we have out there and having a, a dedicated cadre of emergency medical technicians and paramedics that can respond at their needs um, is critical to, to the overall success of this, this operation. So uh, there's there's ver various agencies that we out here are brothers and sisters in Border Patrol, along with uh, U.S. Secret Service Medical, U.S. Park Park Police Medical. Um, we're all kind of intertwined, and we're all we all are very familiar with the resources that are available to us. So the staging that we have with our our, our units are in lockstep of what what they're doing as well too.